It's Nicholas back in the house. Today we have PC Linux OS. Latest version from February from today. Well, I think it's a couple of days. Uh, one version, the KDE, is completely updated to February 2023. This one is from last year, or well, late last year, and I've updated it today. This is the Mate desktop. See, I said Mate. Or Mate, did I say? You don't know, do you, really? And this distribution <laughs> was really popular years ago. Really, really popular, because it came with a lot of stuff. There was lots of little spin-offs, etc., etc., and it was quite stable. Now it's independent, okay? Independent, it's not based on anything else. And that's very, very nice indeed. And I bet if you don't mind the old school look and feel, you'd probably get on well with this, to be honest with you. Obviously, give, give the other desktops a go if you want to, but hey. Anyway, it looks nice and clean, a bit cartoony, but hey, some people like that. And we can change all that if you want to. We'll go through the bar use. You've got time, date, internet sound, your clipboard. Firefox is your default browser of choice installed for you. Synaptic Package Manager is your package manager. Okay, and that's how you upgrade everything. Now, I'm not sure if it tells you when it needs upgrading, but what I would do every couple of days is go to Synaptic and click on that button, maybe, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Uh, configure your computer. Then we've got Terminal, and then we've got Cadger. Okay, so if we go to System, uh, if you're going to run it in the box, you will need to come here for the simple reason you need to set your displays out. So under hardware, you get displays, keyboard, blah, 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 mouse. But the best way to do this is to do this and go to configure your computer. And it will take you to, oh, that's just now. Uh, my super duper password there. Okay, how to install software, sharing, network services, hardware, your complete system, network sharing again. Oh, network sharing, no, I'm sorry. Local disks, so you can manage your partitions, security and boot. So most stuff you can do from here. Okay? If you don't like it, do something else. Okay. So what we're going to do, we'll just go, should we go there first? No. I'll go to Synaptic first. Some of you may not even know what Synaptic is. It will need your password. It's old, it's, um, it's old school, but it's not terminal. Okay? For some of you are frightened of the terminals. So what we're going to do, we're going to upgrade everything. So you want to mark all the upgrades. And then there shouldn't be anything because I've already done it. Okay. Mark upgrades. Hmm. There weren't any because I've already done them. How do you find stuff? You ask. Okay. Go to search. And you go to say, I'll say Chrome. You hit there. And bush. And there's the Chrome browser. So we want to install that, don't we? Yeah. Uh, we're going to click on that button. Mark for installation. We're happy with that, aren't we? We'll just go to apply. Yeah, but 103 megabytes will have to be downloaded, and we'll use 317 megabytes of space. Now, I've only got four gigas, yeah, four gigas space on here. That's not too much, really, because it is running in the box, by the way. So you hit apply, and it'll start downloading all that stuff. And moving along, moving along, moving along. It's reasonably fast, I suppose, isn't it? That's it. That's it. There you go. That's better. Come back. And it starts installing. The text here is quite nice, I thought. Doesn't take too long. And Bob's your uncle and Fanny is your aunt. Your Chrome browser is installed. So if we just click out of that, go to Applications, and if you go to Internet, Chrome is there. Okay. While we're here, we'll go with what's in here. Now, this is why it used to be so popular. So it comes with quite a lot of stuff that you wouldn't normally find okay so it's got any desk for your sessions okay so open any desk some of you may not know what this is but it's a bit zoomy put it that way or you could you can also do remote desktop access if you wanted to but yeah that's nice to have here isn't it okay go back there where are we internet yes so you get filezilla fox is your browser of choice i've installed google premises see mega sync cloud storage Nitro Share, Chunderbird, and Zoom. Ooh. The full LibreOffice Suite 7.3, of course. Your Software Center. Don't worry about that. It's just... Yeah, don't worry about it. You, just, you don't need to go there. But Virtual Box Manager is here. Under Graphics, you get Eye of Mate, Gimpage. And it, it's the current version, guys. But it's just been themed differently. So look. It's a little bit cartoony again, isn't it? But yeah. Starts up and boots perfectly fine. Okay. Well, it's going to show you here that's going to be interesting for you. Oh, uh, 
CPU X, H top. Let's see what's going down. There you go. I'm only using two cores, by the way. Only two cores. And it's pretty shifty nifty, okay? RAM usage is not too bad either. And documentation. So if I go to help, I'm going to go to here. And it tells you basically all we need to do and use for this system. So that's pretty great. Excuse me. <coughs> Bit of a coughage going on now. Anyway, I'm not going to make this video too long because you can go and download it yourself. It's great. Uh, oh, unsound is the other thing. You get dead beef here as your music player. And you get Pithos for listening to Pandora Radio. So if I click there, there we go. Okay, it's my preferences. Not too worried about that. So, oh, no. I've never used Pandora, so I ain't got a clue what it is. But I just imagine it's a web radio. And you have to have an account. But I don't want that. Uh, rest on the sound is Pulse Audio, of course. Uh, set your sound up. Spotify is installed by and video downloader and VLC. Under video, we have handbrake, the video downloader and VLC. Lots here. I'll open up the Fox for you, just so you can see. We won't worry about it too much. Bing, bong, bong, bong. There you go. All works. So if you fancy saying a little different, yeah, just a little, little, little bit different, you minimise that for you. Give PC Linux OS a go. You, you might get along with it. Especially for an older system. It'd be super. Sneaky Linux out. I see loads, by the way.